Hi, this is Fred from The Joy of Syntax and English in Colour with a contribution about German. And today my German won't be in colour. When I was practicing with Victor this morning, we had an issue, uh, another issue come up. He kept saying, es gibt something or other. And I was wondering, where does he get that additional S from? Because we don't say es, um, es gibt Brot. We say es gibt Brot. So I thought about it and then I realized where the S comes from. And so I made a mini PowerPoint and want to share my screen. Look at this. Uh, es gibt is the same as in English there is. The difference is that es gibt is always, the, the, the verb is always in the singular. And in English you have there is, there are, even though some people start just saying there is. You know, strictly speaking it is, there is some chocolate, but there are some people. Sometimes people say there is some people over there. Uh, in colloquial English, that's becoming the norm. But when you write it, and strictly speaking, it is there is some chocolate, there are some people. In German, it's always es gibt. Es gibt noch Schokolade, es gibt da viele Leute. Because uh, in, in English, it's, it is that, that, that we have an impersonal, um, existential subject. And then the, the link verb, um, well, actually there are various ways of seeing that, but that's an English grammar issue, which I can explain, but I'm wanting to, I wanna make a, a video about German. So let's just say that in English, for a reason that I can tell you if it interests you, the verb is controlled by whatever exists. So there is some chocolate, there are some people. In German, the um, verb is controlled by the impersonal subject S, S gibt. And it's always the impersonal subject, and it's a singular subject, regardless of whether the things that are mentioned as existing are singular or plural. So that's a bit complicated anyway. Es gibt noch frisches Brot means there is still some fresh bread around or there's some fresh bread. There's still some fresh bread left over or whatever. Es gibt noch frisches Brot. Es gibt noch frisches Brot. Now when I ask um, one little thing here, the B is pronounced P, gibt, because the voiceless T follows and then this becomes devoiced, gibt. Geben, but gibt. Es gibt noch frisches Brot. Gibt es noch frisches Brot? Gibt es noch frisches Brot? Um, and you can, so you can do all kinds of things. You can, gibt es, you can really slur it into each other. Gibt es noch Brot? And the blue bit is not IPA and it's not regular orthography. It's it's an in-between thing where I focus on how we pronounce this. Pronounce this. Gibt es noch Brot? And there we often use contractions and we say, Gibt es noch Brot? Gibt es noch Brot becomes, Gibt es noch, gibt es noch Brot? Or, Gibt es noch Brot? And I can answer, Ja, das gibt es. But nobody I know says that. Um, you can slur it into each other a little bit. Das gibt es. Gibt es. Ja, das gibt es. And we, oh, we can contract, use a contraction. Ja, das gibt es. And because of das gibt es, when we have das gibt es, das gibt es, because of this contraction, lots of people think that the regular verb form is gibt es. And they don't understand that this, the S is actually from the impersonal subject. I hope you know what I mean. So I'll say those again for you. Es gibt noch frisches Brot. 
Gibt's noch, gibt's noch, gibt es noch frisches Brot? Gibt es noch frisches Brot? Ja, das gibt es. Ja, das gibt es. So not, ja, das gibt es, but either das gibt es, so you slur it, or you contract it. Das gibt es. Gibt es? Gibt es. Ja, das gibt es. Ja, das gibt es. Okay, I hope this helped. I hope I didn't confuse you. Otherwise, let me know by sending me an email or commenting in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer it, um, to answer your questions, I mean. Okay, I'm tired, it's very, very late here, but I hope this served you. Have a very nice day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.